Now, Maruf, this is, this is exactly the point where we need to decide how to take it forward. In the last 48 hours, Maruf, there were as many as 12 infiltration bids by Pakistan. So whatever was happening, Maruf, was a well-thought strategy. Out of, 10, out of the 12, 10 were foiled. So two were successful. Which means that the Pakistanis also are putting in more and more into sending people across the border with the intent to attack, to hit and to bleed us. I would say that we've been very lucky that 10 of the 12 were foiled. But the damage they want to cause us, Maruf, is greater, even greater than what happened in Uri today. We can't wait to be a sitting duck now for another terror strike. So if they are hell-bent to push terror into India, what in your view, Maruf, with all your experience, is the best way to respond now? Ornab, uh, you see, we must understand the timing of this attack. Of course, it has a very clear military uh, print on it, and uh, such attacks are not launched by fly-by-night terrorists. These are attach, uh, attacks that carried out by people who are trained, armed, and with a very focused agenda. Uh, not only does the ammunition and their markings show that, but it is the modus operandi which any military man will understand was designed uh, to create maximum damage and attrition and give Pakistan something to clap itself on its back about. But what is more important is that Pakistan has done this with the intention that in the next three days, if India responds, Pakistan would then be able to add fuel to fire uh, at the UN General Assembly speech, which Nawaz Sharif hopes to keep uh, doing, ratcheting up Kashmir in a big way at the UN General Assembly. So, as General Jaswal has rightly brought out, there are various options that are there available. The Northern Command and the respective corps that are deployed along the LOC 15 and 16 corps specifically against Pakistan, have those options. They are rehearsed, they are practiced, there are people who are identified, there are maps that are marked out. All this can be done with or without infiltrating troops in and there are a certain amount of even um, uh, missile no, strikes that can be carried out on terror targets uh, to convey a message that we are not going to keep quiet. But I want to take the point a little higher. The thing is that the Pakistani argument has all along been that because we have the nuclear umbrella, you can't do anything to us. I don't buy that argument. I've never bought it. I've spoken against it. I've written against it. Quite clearly, tactical nuclear weapons or strategic nuclear weapons, they do not provide Pakistan the impunity unless they are the impunity that impacts on the minds of passive Indians. Now, if this government is very serious about taking it forward, and I think it is because I haven't seen such statements come out from the political establishment in Delhi for a long, long time, and I've been looking at Kashmir for 25 years very seriously. I don't think that there has been such clarity of intent. So if there is, then there is time to take action, and we must understand that nuclear weapons or nuclear adversaries apart, there is a strategic window that we have available with us to punish Pakistan exactly. in what is our territory. Exactly. POK, which is the home for Absolute. all these terror groups, is Indian territory as per the accession of Kashmir, which led to the creation of Pakistan under the rules of partition. If we don't emphasize that point internationally, we are doing ourselves a disservice. So if Mr. Modi has made this point from the ramparts of Red Fort, Mr. Modi's government now must go the whole hog and tell the world that we are taking action Absolutely, on Manu. our territory against terrorists yes. who operate against us, whether they operate in Kopwara, they operate in Anantnag, they operate in Uri or they operate from Mizafrabad and Mirpur. They are terrorists who operate from Indian territory Absolutely. and if Pakistan defends them then Pakistan is obviously putting its card out on the table that Pakistan is a sponsor of terror. So let us see how far we can call their bluff and finally we tell the world that you want to do business with India then stop doing business with Pakistan because you do business with Pakistan. Sorry the doors are closed for you and the first point where we That's must make point. this in Washington. America understands everything no. when it pinches their wallet. If it doesn't pinch their wallet, they right. will keep making the noises they made against Hafiz Saeed and now the State Department spokesman has spoken against India, Pakistan. 
condemning Pakistan is not good enough. United States, you have to take action against Pakistan if you seriously believe your own narrative against terrorism and nuclear weapons. If you don't, then it will prove even the United States is hands in glove with Pakistan as a sponsor of its terror agenda. Period. Maruf, the simple point I'd like to make, and I think, I think you make a brilliant intervention there, when you say that window, the window to respond is now.